What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am testing out the power of Qualia Mind for focus and attention using the power of the brain device, the Emotive Epoch. Now this is definitely the most advanced piece of neurofeedback equipment I've been able to get my hands on. If you thought the Muse was high tech, well, wait till you see what this thing can do and all from the comfort of your own home. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, so stick around as I show you how I've been able to use this device to test out some nootropics, if it's worth the price tag, and what are some other EEG options on the market right now. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into it, hit that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. So in this video, I'll be breaking down the Epoch into a couple of different categories. First, we'll look at who should buy this. Number two, form and functionality. Number three, we'll look at special features and my own self-experimentation with Qualia Mind. And finally, we'll finish off with the pros and cons of this device and look at some other more affordable options on the market. So before we dive deep into the details, just a quick disclaimer. I did not actually buy this device. It's on loan from a friend who's also interested in neurofeedback and testing out his own brainwaves. So I was testing out for a couple weeks and honestly, I was just so freaking impressed by my findings that I just had to share it with you guys. But I'll be very candid, this thing is not cheap. It's actually $700. Now, obviously that is a huge barrier for some people. And so I am not personally recommending this product for anyone. And for those on a budget, don't worry. I'll be sharing some other EEG alternatives on the market right now. So make sure you stick around to the very end for that. But I will preface all of this by saying that neurofeedback in general is Pricey. I mean, if you're working with a practitioner, you're looking at upwards of like $2,000 for a couple of sessions. So this device is a one-time investment that will give you endless hours of brainwave data, which sort of leaves me to my first point then, who would buy this device? And I would say there are definitely a few demographics out there of people who might be interested in something like this. First, I would say people really interested in peak brain performance. So if you are obsessed with understanding the brain and entering into that flow state, whether it be for deep work or meditation, well, this is a phenomenal device for that. I'll dive more into the specs in just a sec, but think of it like this. Much like tracking your fitness or your sleep, you really need a baseline for understanding how your brain works in order to make changes. And you'll definitely get that from the real-time brainwave activity you get from this device. And the second group of people this would be great for is people interested in using what's called brain-computer interfacing or BCI. And by this, I'm talking about the ability to be able to translate your brain signals into actual commands on a computer or another device. So this is some really cutting edge technology for people interested in virtual gaming or even people with neurological disorders that don't have the ability to communicate through speech. Now, this is not considered a medical device, but there is a ton of research being done on BCI technology, and I will link to some of those in the show notes below if you wanna go and check them out. So let's move on to form and functionality. So as you can see, this is a wireless headset with 14 different EEG sensors for whole brain sensing. The sensors use these felt pads that you have to hydrate with a saline solution in order to make contact. And like a lot of devices, you have to actually be able to make contact with the skin or else the device is not gonna work. The headset itself is pretty lightweight and what I really like is that it doesn't have a ton of wires that you have to connect to it. Plus it's got a really good battery life of about 12 hours. And once you get it on, you connect it to your phone or your computer using Bluetooth. And this is where you can record the high res brain data and even go through some of those brain training activity programs, which I'll demonstrate in just a minute. So now that we've got the bases covered, let's move on to some of the special features and specs of the Epoch, including my Qualia Mind experiment. So as I mentioned before, this device uses 14 advanced EEG sensors 
that detect activity and electrical impulses all throughout the brain. The way brain cells communicate is through electrical impulses. And in the medical field, doctors might use an advanced EEG machine to detect things like seizures, brain disorders, and even brain tumors. But luckily you do not need a medical degree in order to operate this thing. So once you get the program up and running, you'll actually get a full readout of your brainwave EEG scores. So I would say it would be a little bit helpful to be somewhat versed in the different brain states. But this device also does translate this data into six very easy to understand categories on the app, including things like focus, stress, and relaxation. And they make it super easy to label each session so you know exactly what your brainwave activity was like during that activity. For instance, I tried 30 minutes of meditation and I actually got a 52 on my focus score. And then when I was just goofing off, looking at YouTube videos on the internet, I only got a 40 on my focus score. So you can actually see some quantitative differences. Now their computer program also has a more advanced form of brainwave analysis. And this is where I dived into my own self-experimentation with the nootropic quality of mind. So I started with just 30 minutes of reading, not using any supplements, and this is what my brainwave activity looked like. As you can see, there are lots of sharp spikes in my theta brain state. I then took Quality of Mind and waited about 30, 45 minutes for it to kick in. And looking at the brainwave states for that session, here you can see my theta state is much more normalized and stays pretty stable throughout. So based on my own research, those theta state jumps from not using Quality of Mind might be an indication that my brain was a little bit unfocused and I was having trouble with attention. And this comes as no surprise for me because I do in fact suffer from some focus and attention issues. In fact, according to the Center for the Attention Deficit and Learning Disorders, a presence of excessive theta waves during a normal awake state could reflect problems with focus and attention, head injuries, and learning disorders. So to then see my theta wave states shift to a much more stable state after using the qualia was a way for me to quantify this nootropic might have been working in helping keep me focused and more attentive while reading. And anecdotally, I felt like I was comprehending the book faster and I was less distracted by some outside noises. But prior to this brain test, I thought it might just be a placebo. Now I actually have the data to prove it. I'm actually planning to test this thing out with a ton of other nootropics that I have in my supplement closet. And I would say if you are looking for a way to kind of measure how effective some of your supplements are, and if you have the means to afford a device like this, well, this could be a great experimental tool for just that. But let's be honest, $700 to look at your brain waves, pretty unreasonable for most people, which is why this device is a lot more than just that. And that brings me to the mind control aspect of the emotive epoch. And this, in my opinion, is the most impressive feature of this whole device. In the Emotive Pro app on your desktop, there's a section called Mind Train, where you can actually use your thoughts to control a cube on your computer, moving it left, right, up, down, etc. Now this requires intense concentration and focus to get this thing to actually work. But once it does, it feels like you have some weird supernatural power. Plus this practice of ridding yourself of all these distracting thoughts and really just focusing in on the present moment is such a great practice tool to help you get better at things like focus work and meditation. Now, I personally haven't explored all of the gaming aspects of this yet, but I know that there are a lot of developers on GitHub working on these things. So it'll be really exciting to see what new technology emerges from all of this brain computer technology. So on to my pros and cons of the device. On the pro side, well, there's no wires, there's no sticky adhesives. And I'd say it's fairly easy to record your brainwave data using the app on your phone or your desktop. But the major downside of this device, aside from the price, is the connectivity issues I had with it. On the first day, I spent a good 
hour trying to fiddle with this thing on my head and I still couldn't get it to work. Now my fiance on the other hand, he was able to get it to work twice, no problem. So I'm thinking maybe it's my thick hair, my small head, but whatever. It still was a huge struggle and this was a bit of a barrier for me to wanna to continue using it. But then I figured if I wet my hair before using this device, well, maybe that'll help. And it actually did. It took me like 90% faster to get this thing to work and connect to the app when my hair was wet. So it was annoying, but it worked. Now another drawback of the device is the fact that you can't really be moving around a lot or even lying down while wearing this thing because those EEG sensors are very sensitive. And for me, this was a real bummer because I really wanted to see what my brain waves were actually doing during my sleeping state but that was just not at all possible using this device. Which leads me to my final point on what other EEG options are out there on the market right now that might deliver similar results. And the answer is there's actually a lot. To start, the Muse 2 is a great neurofeedback device that'll actually give you real-time brain stats during meditation. Now, this device has seven EEG brain sensors, and it actually comes with an app that will lead you through guided meditations where you know you're in a calm or a flow state when you hear birds chirping in the background. Now, obviously the sensors are not quite as advanced as the Epoch, but I'd say it does a pretty good job for the price tag of 250. Now they also just came out with the Muse S for sleep and I did just buy it and I'm very excited to share my review on that, but it does look a lot like some other brain EEG devices for sleep just like the Smart Sleep Headband by Philips and even the Dream 2. And all of those fall within that $300 to $500 range. And even better, there are some third-party apps emerging like the Muse Monitor that will actually take your raw EEG from Muse and translate that into brainwave state data for you. So you can really see whether you're in the beta, gamma or delta waves while meditating and even sleeping. Another device that I am super excited about but unfortunately is not out just yet, is called Focus Buds. Now this came as a recommendation from my friend Shervin over at Shervin Chair's Peak Performance. Make sure you check them out. And this is a Kickstarter from the company Potential X. Now essentially these are a pair of smart earbuds that use EEG neurofeedback to help you train your brain through things like real-time feedback, noise cancellation, and even personalized music for focus. I am so excited to get my hands on these bad boys and as soon as I do, you guys will be the first to hear my full review of the Focus Buds. So here are my final thoughts. Do I think that the Epoch is a consumer friendly device? Not really. I really do believe in the science behind the emotive Epoch and I appreciate how lightweight and portable this device is. It is really designed to be used at home, but the high price tag and all of my connectivity issues with it just make it very unapproachable for the everyday consumer. Not to mention that it is great to have all of this brainwave data, but if you're not a neuroscientist or you don't really understand how brainwave states work, well then you have to do all of the legwork to really make sense of your own brain data. However, I was able to use this device to test out the efficacy of the very popular nootropic quality of mind, and so, based on my brain wave results, I'm definitely more inclined to use it now for things like deep work and whenever I really need an intense focus and concentration boost. And if you're interested in seeing me do more brain tests like this, make sure to leave a comment below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video or you learned something, make sure to give it two big thumbs up. And if you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. And I can't wait to see you on the next one.